This line needs to be done in the goofy stance. I found with the nolly I was popping about one slab away from the ledge. This means I landed around the centre of this slab. The fakey kit flip as well as the switch ollie seem to count regardless. However, I try to always do the fakey flip around the point where the texture changes slightly. This sets me up perfectly to do the 180 in time to land just on the edge of where the texture changes again. For the front side flip, I like to approach still on the ledge of the fountain and time my pop for when my front trucks reach the joint in the slabs. Doing this means I land just before the line in the concrete on the next ledge. Here, I do the same thing for the switch hill flip. I stay on the concrete ledge and pop around the same distance away from the next ledge. This again means I land within the first slab on the next ledge, although this is actually different to how it's done in the original clip, where the switch hill flip is actually done in front of the ledge. The distance covered for the front side tower slide doesn't actually matter too much. I had it trigger with both short and long slides. I found sliding within the distance of the last three posts a good marker. For the shove it out, I found starting the inputs around the middle of the last two posts a good spot but it does vary depending on your speed.